Good morning vlog, good morning, hi, how are you? It's not quite the morning, because it's nearly four o'clock, maybe? Something like that. It's Friday, happy Friday, TJIF. I split the teams yesterday between JV and Varsity. I split everybody up. And it's such a bittersweet moment as a coach because it's really awesome because then you get to start really working with your team. My JV coach gets to start really working with her team. And it's just really great to start that group dynamic and that team dynamic. But when you're in those meetings with those girls telling them which team they've made, you know as a coach that you have made some girls very, very excited, very thrilled, and then other girls sad. And that's the toughest part because you don't want to make kids sad, but you have to make those tough decisions. And I know that definitely some of the girls were upset with the choices. I think most of them understand why the choice was made the way that it was. But time will tell. Tonight I have practice with just the varsity girls. We're going to be on Colby's field. We got field time for two hours, so we're going to split it with the JV. So we'll take from six to seven o'clock and then I'm going to go over to Molly's house and we're going to watch hashtag live PD. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. I'm excited to get just my varsity girls together. It's going to be tough since we only have an hour and for the most part it's just gonna be me I think Britt has to work but I think she'll be there for the beginning part so that'll be good I need the girls to sign some forms you know signing that they understand the alcohol policy from the school and signing to understand that there is no hazing allowed tough it's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Look how long my hair is getting, guys. That's why I usually pull it back. I really want to do my long bob, but then I won't be able to pull it back for practices and games. I really want to cut it to, like, here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how I feel. If, I, if it's really important to me that I have my hair back, and it probably will be, then I definitely will not touch it until after softball, which has kind of been the plan. But it's also been so long since I've dyed it as well. Look at all that natural color. I used to be obsessed with dyeing my hair. Black, red, blonde, red and blonde. I don't know, what should I do? I kind of want to dye it, something funky. Mm, we'll see. Practice is done. I hate the shape of my head when I wear this. Practice is done. It went really well. It was really great to start the team chemistry, not the, the team are broken up into two. It's so exciting and they're already doing really well talking to each other, advocating for themselves, you know, letting their teammates know what they need. It's amazing to see. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to go over to Molly's. <laughs> Hi! Hello! Hi. Annie. Annie. She's making some mac and cheese. I brought vegetables with me to cook. But live PD isn't on tonight. It's only reruns. Oh, I didn't even know about it. Rerun, rerun. The Twitter had to tell me. The live PD nation had to let Molly know, so. They didn't let me down again. They keep you in the loop. They really do. They'll let you know. They're there for me. Everybody's upset. I probably got retweeted already <laughs> about my depression tweet. <laughs> Sadness. Pure. Shadness. Molly's getting into the essential oils. She got the, the peppermint one. Mm -hmm. Then the arborative You did a great job. Thanks. I think I nailed it. That's what that says, right? I fear after dark. I fear after dark. I don't know what that thing we were saying. Stonewall Jackson. <gasps> the princess got a haircut. Look how cute you are. Count the rolls. Count the rolls. Why are you down. Look at all the little rolls. You You're a little me? biscuit. You want to pay attention to me? Oh my gosh, the peoples. Oh god. Oh god, the peoples. You are the chosen one. She chooses you, Richard. These are the magic beans that we found. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll give you my cow. <laughs> Hello, Sluffia. Hey, Bella Baloo. Saying hi to all the animals now. Hello. Hello. Molly and Richard are eating their, their mac and cheese dinner. I've been wanting mac and cheese, but I brought sweet potato and then my go-to veg, zucchini, red onions, and mushrooms. You know, cooking at your friend's house, as you do. Watching people get arrested on TV, as you do. You said nothing illegal in the vehicle, correct? Would you mind if I look? I let her butt on fire by accident a couple of weeks. Oh no! So which is worse, almost setting Sophia on fire or leaving Bella in the dryer? I think the dryer was really, really terrible. The fire did not even face her. Hello! How oh, did it go in the outside? Oh goodness! How did it go outside? Oh, it's wet! Oh, wet! <laughs> Fighting over attention. Well, I guess you showed her. Princess, you won. Oh, what you doing? Fine. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, jealousy. 
are so scared of the cat. <laughs> so I'm out in the middle of a self goal 5k. Molly and I agreed that we would do a 5k before March was over. So softball practice just ended. That was really fun. Excuse my heavy breathing. I'm halfway through a 5k. In case you didn't get that. I was gonna do it in a gym, but I like running outside better than on a treadmill. Plus it's a gorgeous day. I mean, it's a little too cold for a tank top, but it'd be nicer with like a regular t-shirt would be fine. But these keep falling down. I should do what one of my players does and use athletic tape as a belt. Run's done. I walked them out a zillion times, but you know what? I did it. You know the last time I ran a 5k? July 12th. Molly and I are trying to do a 5k every month, and since I've been gone and traveling and everything, I haven't been able to do it for January and February, besides it's cold then. And today's the 31st, so I wanted to crank out marches. I have blisters from hitting to the girls for softball. Look at that. Oh, yuck. Somehow I got one on the back of my thumb. I don't know how that one happened from hitting. But now I'm outside Hanford because I need to get a snack. I'm thinking lots of bananas, maybe some grapes. Ooh, some hummus. Some hummus would be great. I just keep thinking about the frozen pizza I've got back at home. I could do my leg workout today, but I'm not going to. I think I'm just gonna run tomorrow and call that my workouts. All right, raise your hand if you also need to use boards to get across your lawn because it's mud season and everything is disgusting. I need to make something to eat. I may have got some mac and cheese <laughs> while I was at Hannaford just because Molly and Richard having mac and cheese last night made me want to have mac and cheese. Not to mention I've been wanting mac and cheese. So I stopped off and got some vegan mac and cheese. I got two different kinds. I got the Daya, Daya kind and that is where the cheese packet is already in the box. Then I got an Annie's one, which is kind of like the Kraft instant ones. And I forgot that you need to add fake milk to make that work. So I'm probably gonna go with the Daya one. I also have the pizza. Either way, I'm not eating well tonight. <laughs> Just because I don't want to. <laughs> I need to make a list of things to do for softball on Monday. I need to try to make myself not focus on softball stuff tomorrow because I am obsessed. <laughs> I have a hard time falling asleep at night because I am planning stuff for softball and I've got a lot of ideas for softball and literally all day I dream about softball, <laughs> okay? Hello, Nermal. Hello. But I'm in comfy stuff. It's probably like 6.30 right now and I have softball playing on the TV while I make some food. But after that, no more doing softball stuff. I kind of want to do something tomorrow. Tomorrow is Easter, thank you. I'm gonna go see my grandmother at some point tomorrow, but I was also thinking maybe taking the dog for like a walk or a hike or something. I don't know what would be open. I don't know if trails are open yet. It will be April 1st, so fingers crossed. Hello, little one. Oh, yay. I didn't show you guys, I got my crochet stuff out of storage, which you know about, but I haven't really shown you my blanket. Oh, Kentucky got ahead of Bama. This is my crochet basket. This is a blanket I've been working on for like three years now. It's actually pretty big. It's bright orange and then this camo and then just some blue, which you wouldn't think would work, but I think it looks all right. See, it is pretty big. Look at that. I have been working on it. I need to go through and tuck these in but i don't know how much more i'm gonna do on it i don't have a lot of orange left but i can get more orange i have some camo in here i have other projects brewing this is a scarf that i forgot that i had started to make yeah i try not to put too many projects in this basket I try to put all my eggs in one basket you know what i'm saying but this is my blanket that i've been working on and it is actually pretty big now that i have it all laid out wow Maybe I'll make it the same size as this one. I don't want you up here because you're gonna pull all my yarn apart. Yes, you will. I'm watching Jersey Shore reruns while crocheting. I'm having an age identity crisis out here. I don't, I don't know. Is this regular? Is this what people do? Look at you, you little beast. Hello, happy Easter. I don't feel like I've ever done really a lot for Easter stuff, but Easter always reminds me of my grandmother because every year growing up, her tree out front would always be decorated with little plastic eggs. One time when I was in college, I came down on a Saturday and hung a whole bunch of plastic eggs on her tree so she could wake up to it on Easter. This year, I messaged some of my cousins and suggested that maybe they take some plastic eggs over and hang them on her tree and just spend some time with her and see her on Easter because I don't know why, it just, Easter always makes me think of my gram. So I bought some plastic eggs. I'm gonna go hang some in her tree and spend some time with her. And then I think we're gonna go to dinner at my mom's friend's house. Cool.
It's so windy. Oh no, oh god. <laughs> Gotta reach it first. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! There you go, two for you. We gotta we got get some over on these ones. Because you're so much taller. Taller. But if you put it over and then you just loop it through. Stop. There you go. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to. Oh, look what happened That's to you now. <laughs> There's only two. Yeah, we did all the other ones. We've got a bunch more on the ride from the U.S. past. <laughs> I bet. So this is deemed a, a salmon. That's a salmon run. This yep. is a salmon run, apparently. I've never seen a salmon in here in my life. All I know about this is, hey, get away from there. Right. And there are raspberries just on the other side if you jump down up further. Those are my experiences with the salmon run. Yeah. Yeah. Run. Hey, get away from there. How many did you hang up? All of them. Like a hundred, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> At least. You hung them so high, none of us could reach them. <laughs> oh yeah. These go. Are, I oh, like these. Yeah. Could never afford to go to the store. Oh, I do like shortbread. Do they taste like the uh, the Girl Scout ones? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Put them in. It's my Easter. <laughs> put this in here with everything Sheldon gave me. Blueberry. Peppermint. Ooh, I do like a mint tea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know. Every time. I don't think I leave here without more stuff than I came with. I'm over for Easter dinner. We're at my parents' friend's house, which I've known for absolutely ever. Oh, they got a doggy. They got a, they got two doggies. We got Remy, who's a little brown pity, and Maddie, who is an older golden retriever. Come say hi to the internet. Come say hi to the internet. Remy dog. Oh, Maddie girl came. Maddie wants to say hello. Maddie likes to say hello, and you only want it now because Maddie had attention. Now you're gels. You're a little jelly bean. Oh gosh. Thanks, Ram. You're good girls. Yeah, Maddie. You good girl, aren't you? Watching the fifth element. I've never watched this whole movie all the way through. You are fired. I swear I woke up with 14 year old Sam's skin issues. My skin has not been this bad in a really long time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hi, normal. Hi, how are you? It was a good day. It was good to see family. It was good to hang out. It was good to take a day off, take a little break from softball. I made a to do list of softball stuff and put it in a notebook to do tomorrow. Thank you for the armpit massage. I appreciate it. <laughs> but it was good to give myself a break because I feel like, as much as I love softball, I'm feeling a tad bit obsessed and I just need to take a step back from that and reassess what's going on. Dave comes on Tuesday, which is really exciting. I can't wait for him to get here. We're gonna end up in. Hi. We're gonna end up in Augusta for Tuesday night. And I don't know what time practice is yet, so. Oh, sweet baby. I'm sorry I can't stay here. We have to move. Dave's gonna be coming soon, so I'm really excited for that. He's only coming for a week. Gonna come and hang out, do some stuff, see some things, catch up. Um, but I'm gonna end this vlog here. So, you wanna say it? Say thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you made this part. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you next time.